So that's a serious piece of hardware in space. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the Earth, and then we'll start looking at distance. For example, wouldn't it be cool to be able to look at the entire Earth's carbon monoxide output yeah. for today and the last two days? So right here, click here, boom, there it is. And here's a key that lets you know your parts per billion. So, for example, over Southern California right now, we're pretty good. We're down here in the blue, you know, 90 parts per billion. They're having fires up in Washington. All right. So they're they're up in the red and they're up in the orange zone here. And what's cool about this is I can say choose dates, and we can go back in time. I'm, just, I'm not going to go back that far. Can go back to March? Is it March? I can. I will. Is the northeast due to industry or what is that? Oh, that's all forest. fires. Boreal wow. Forest fires. Boreal forest fires. Yeah. In fact, you're going to watch yeah. this. I'm going to yeah. take you back to just the beginning of July. These are forest fires. Remember the Alaskan forest yeah. fires? Yeah. There's the plume. Here's now. This is not from forest fire. This is industry. Okay, and we're going to go back and look at what's happening if, with the palm oil. Yes, oh that's what gosh. I wanted to show Chris. But this so is this is all na these are natural fires that are taking place. Look at that. So once it's fully loaded, and we're, we're what about the rainforest? Uh, uh, we can show you. There's look, look right at, there. That's and that's now a lot of palm oil too, Chris. Wow. Yeah. But I'm going to show you something truly scary here. So down here, if you roll this, remember the station fire that almost burned down JPL? That's what I was wondering. That, that, that's the one I was. Well, we have a few bookmarks here, so. So now we're going to load the station fire. You watch the plume go here okay. all the way to Louisiana. That's a really fascinating graphic. The one you, you just did was the middle one, the fire. Yeah, the fire. Don't go oh. away from quickly do, okay. the, do my March you got it. and April days. Free, Susan, for you. Make me you get it. Start. We're just going to go back here. We'll take March first. This is Indonesia now. You're going to see, well, the whole globe, but we're going to focus in on that. And we're just going to go to the end of April. This gets scary. If, it's, if we hit the right time frame, it's, it's ugly. I'll warn you. Did you see the series on uh, yes, Showtime? Yeah. With Harrison Ford? Yes, wasn't that great? That I thought he did an amazing job. He did, job. but look at this. Oh, my goodness. This is so exactly there is no, what we're that, that's fighting. The, that's the highest level of red you can get. It on. is. Yeah, I mean, the values up here are like, look, at they're off the chart. 348. Three, they're, uh, my highest level is 160, and these are 300s. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's a massive, massive. And it's kind of cool as you can watch the jet stream. Look, look at it coming, coming across. across. Look at this. This is carbon monoxide. This is carbon monoxide. Check, check this out. Yeah. yeah. But I just think that would be a great visual to show the effects of, especially, you know, the station fire was a finite fire, but when you get a whole complex of California fires together and what happens. It's, it's yes. really ugly. Yeah. So, okay, so here you can do this. Here's the global temperature. This is the, today in the last two days. So, you know, we get these low pressure systems out here, right? right. That pull in water vapor. Right. So now I'm going to go here. I'm going to go over and show you the water vapor for the last three days. Yeah, I have one of those. Right? Look at this. It comes right up through here, yeah. right? And then That's the course, monsoon flow right yeah. Yep. And then you've got the resulting cloud cover here. Right. And normally, I mean, That's I could, right. I mean, you could show, you could do animation of this, and you'll see, you'll see that subtropical high blocking, and then all of a sudden, yeah, there it is. Boom. Yeah. It comes in, and we get those clouds over the And there's the a low off Northern California that's drawing. Right. Now watch this. When you start this up, I'm going to show you. When you start this thing, you, when you download, so you go to eyes.nasa.gov. It's on that card right there. Gotcha. It's going to ask you to download. When you download it, it's going to put this icon on your desktop. Okay. Right? NASA's eyes. When you double-click it, checks if phone's home to see if there's any new data. Okay? And then you get three choices. There's eyes on the Earth that I just showed you. There's eyes on the solar system that let you fly all around the solar system, just like you did on the Earth. And then there's eyes on exoplanets where you can look at planets around other stars. Cool. And when you start, reload it. And I'm just running it in real time right now because anybody on the planet Maybe can show the grace this. data quickly too. Yep. So the grace data, there you go. This is kind of bizarre looking. That's the gravity field. Of the it's Earth. a gravity field. Wow. Now it's exaggerated That's 13 cool. million times. That's so cool. But when you animate this thing, I want you to know, see Greenland right there? Greenland. Look at the hole. Wherever you see a hole, that means it's lighter on average in December 20, 2013 than the previous 10 years. This is a, a difference from the average. Okay? You got to see this animated. Okay, so now wait a minute. So that means right. that there's less material over the top of that hole right. yes. that, that is affected by gravity. Yes. So you're showing the hole in the ozone layer. No, yeah. you're showing the whole. You're showing the weight of the ground. Yeah. Literally. Oh. So basically, water loss, ice loss. Oh, 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 right, yes. right. Wow. So this is a departure from normal. You can see. Right. 
So you get both you get both seasonal water changes and then you get oh, you know yeah. loss of groundwater from large that would scare basins. Al Gore, that picture right this there. would scare Al Gore. I love the picture. Okay. Now watch this. So basically Grace measures the movement of water around the planet. Yeah. So you can see in the South America, the Amazon's the biggest basin, so it's gonna get the biggest spike. Get a lot of rainfall in May two thousand nine. Get a lot of rain. And then the ITCZ moves north and the Orinoco Basin lights up. You get a, a bump there, and the Amazon has a deficit, right? Yeah. So this pattern, you could follow you know, the intertropical convergence zone very nicely, as well as the jet stream in the north, but watch Greenland. Greenland is always a hole. It's going away. Because it's, it's ice and it's the melting. Peninsula, it's going away. Yeah. The, the oh, yeah. Coast of down here, same thing. Yeah. Well, I'll come back. I'll, uh, yeah. this is, I, you know, I think this would be a cool story. I'm you know, sure. like a piece. Or can I bring cameras in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, okay. everybody's consciousness is being raised about all these yeah. global issues. Exactly. So. Oh, good. Oh, one, la one last thing. I got it again. Here we go. We put in the entire 10, 12 years of carbon dioxide data set that's been got, gone from the AIRS instrument, atmospheric infrared sounder. Mm -hmm. Watch this. This is carbon dioxide since 2002. This, this, is a, this is in the mid troposphere. It's not, okay. down, not down at ground level. Not the ground. Now watch. Here's, so here's... Here starts here, watch over time what happens to the globe, what color it turns. And this is real data. This isn't like us making cartoons, right? There's 2008. <laughs> well, listen to me. There's no climate change. No. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I, I'm so sorry to Jane. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. We're thrilled well, that, that you just... That was fascinating. We just wanted to grab you for this. Oh, I'm so glad you did. But we've got it's, all kinds it's of no, stuff. I, I will talk to you to let me come and do yeah. a piece about it. I think it's fascinating. So if there are some big fires and you want stuff, we can make you, you a... You can customize an email. We can customize it. Yep, absolutely. It's very simple, actually. That's why we brought Randy.